you have specific interests, whether they're sort of geographical or in specific genres, you can really kind of um, uh, pick and choose, right? And the thing to remember about Fantasia is that it's not just, you know, horror movies or, um, you know, fantasy, it's, it's science fiction, it's comedies, it's, it's quirky, weird dramas, anything outside of the box. With over 120 films and 200 short movies, Fantasia International Film Festival is back in Montreal. The three-week event kicked off its 27th edition on Thursday at Concordia University, opening with Quebec filmmaker Pascal Plante's psychological tech thriller, Red Rooms. To be uh, opening the festival this year, is, it's an amazing honor, to be honest. And especially since the Fantasia crowd is the best, really reactive and really wanting to have some original uh, films, films that are daring, bold or just different. And uh, yeah, so I couldn't have dreamt of a better crowd for sure. Life coming full circle for Plant, who was once part of that crowd, coming every year to the festival since he was a film production student at Concordia University. The Concordia Theatre, a place he often frequented for class, is now screening one of his own films. When I did have classes in the hall building here, uh, like I never think, I didn't think back then that like I would have a film playing there. Like it just, yeah. So it, it's actually fun. It's a, it's a it's a fun circle here. This year's festival featuring a diverse range of genres of films from all around the world. Since its foundation too, you know, we've kept this very strong focus on Asian cinema. So Fantasia started as a showcase for Hong Kong action films, Hong Kong fantasy films, and uh, Japanese uh, monster movies, Godzilla and all of that. That was the first edition. The festival now has several sections for every genre, such as the Septentrion Shadows program, which highlights some of the best Canadian production. There is also the Access this program showcasing classic anime films and the latest movie of one of Quebec's favorite animation series, To Be a Binou. Montrealers can also watch new Malaysian releases like Tiger Stripes or even Korean movies dating as far back as the 70s. Fantasia Festival will run until August 9th. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.